down to the floor is Dwayne Wade. Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Machakwadash. Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this world ignorantly called Jesus. The Machakwadash is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and also toiling in this work for the sake of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, the men, women, and children that Yahweh by Hashem Shai will show mercy upon in these last days. I'm the brother Gobar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. I'm coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. In this lesson, is going to be entitled a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again all right you know so this is going to be more of a exhortation all right you know just something that i was meditating on all right through the spirit you know in this truth you know we, we gonna we gonna fall all right we're gonna come short okay but the scripture says in the book of Sirach chapter 4 let me get that Ecclesiasticus also known as the book of Sirach this is 4 and verse 28 strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee alright and that's what we doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh we're striving for the truth okay the scriptures also says in the book of Judges 5 and 11 alright rehearse the righteous acts okay so sometimes in this in, in our walk we gonna we gonna go off all right we gonna fall all right but it's not about uh you falling it's about you getting back up and continuing to fight all right the scripture says let not your sins weigh you down all right so we're not out here you know willfully sinning we're not out here you know committing adultery, smoking weed, celebrating uh, uh, birthdays and things of that nature. All right, we ain't bowing down to idols. All right, but sometimes we are going to fall. Sometimes we, we, we going to go off in this truth. But it's about uh, repenting. All right, asking Yahweh Bashim Al Shai to forgive you for your for your shortcomings this first timothy 6 and 12 fight the good fight of faith and this is a fight so in a fight you're going you're going you're going to get knocked down all right in football you're going to get the wind knocked out of you all right sometimes you might get beat on a on a long route all right you might give up a touchdown a quarterback throws an interception if you run a track, you might fall. All right, in boxing, you, you might get knocked out. But it's about getting back up and continuing the fight. And that's what makes a good fight. You know, we got to have faith that Yahweh Shai has forgave our sins. All right, because if we are of the elect, our sins is is covered. All right, that's the whole point of, of Yahweh Shad dying up on that cross. All right, his blood 
were covered through Yahweh's blood. All right, it says, lay hold on eternal life, you know? And when you uh running in a race, okay, you keep your eye on that finish line, all right? Your, the track coach always say, run through the finish line. You know, and that has to be our mentality, speaking first and foremost to myself. Okay? Our our uh our goal is salvation. All right? We're looking to be changed from these mortal bodies in fashion unto Yahweh Shai's immortal body. Okay? And scripture says some of us shall not taste the death. So that's what that's what the end goal is to to live forever all right but we got to put in the work in order to obtain immortality it says where unto where unto thou are also called right and we've been called into this into this truth that's 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 for sure okay brothers have woken up to who they are all right we're standing up on our feet all right the holy spirit is 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 upon us. So all we got to do to continue is to keep making our calling and election sure. All right, being involved in the ministry daily. All right, spending spending that quality time with Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right, by way of reading. All right, praying, making these lessons going out to the highways and byways all right because the lord has gave us the formula to be successful all right he gave us apostles he gave us elders and bishops he gave us camp leaders he gave us brothers so we have all the proper tools in order to succeed to be successful and it says, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. And this is, you know, one of my favorite uh, scriptures, man. Because this, this is our uh, profession. This is our occupation. You know, we got to be like Clark. We got to be like uh, Clark. Clark Kent. Okay, when we walk in, a, walking in this world, all right, while we at our jobs, you know we gotta we gotta blend in like a like a uh, lizard. Okay, lizards. You know they have the ability to camouflage. You know, and and that's what we do when we out in this world and we, you know, running errands and we at work. But our true occupation is uh, being servants for Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Okay teaching this truth so I'm gonna read this one more time 1st Timothy 6 and 12 fight the good fight of faith lay hold on eternal life 1 and 2 thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses so again this is our occupation this is our true profession alright this is our duty. So let's get to another scripture. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 24 and verse 16. For a just man falleth seven times. Right, and the just goes back into a righteous. Okay, which means his elect. Because two thirds of our people are wicked. They don't fall into the category of being righteous. All right, but, you know, it says fall uh, for a just man fall of seven times. And that seven goes into a number of completion. All right, so that's why the scripture says all of our righteousness is as, unfil is as filthy rags. But it's about getting back up. Continuing to fight.
and it reads and rises up again but the wicked shall fall into mischief you know so the wicked man is going to fall into mischief all right we see men who was once a part of uh the body you know but they they uh, uh fell out of the truth all right but his elect man he can't can't be plucked out So no matter how much times we fall, man, it's about getting back up, continuing to endure. All right, but you know, it's also it's about growth as well. You two years into the truth or three years into the truth and you still committing adultery, you still sinning. Hey man, that's, 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 that's a problem. That's when that becomes an issue. Because you, you shouldn't be stumbling over the same iniquity over and over again. All right, that means that you're not growing. Okay. Let's get another scripture. This is 1 Peter 2. And, uh... Verse 2 in the reads, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. And this is how we grow. We got to desire the, the, this wisdom. All right. Just like a newborn babe desires that milk every 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 three hours. Okay, and that's how we got to be in the spirit. I'm going to read this in the NLT, 1 Peter 2 and 2. Like newborn babes, you must crave pure spiritual milk so that you will grow. You know, you got to you got to crave that spiritual milk. Man, I I, I need to read Man, I need to, I need to watch a lesson. All right, because it was milk to a to a newborn babe. That's that nutrition. All right, when the, when when you see those hamite uh, babies on on the television commercials, you know what they they their what's it called mal 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 nutrition. All right, you start seeing their their bones. All right, they, they, they look like skeletons. Okay, that's because they, they're not eating. And that's how it is in the spirit. All right, when you're not reading, when you're not studying, when you're not going into the words, right, going into the Hebrew and the Greek, sometimes the Latin of these words, man. All right. And that's how, that's how men, you know, begin to wither away. All right, ultimately because their foundation is not built upon that rock. When your foundation is built upon that rock, all right, you're going to be able to endure. All right, don't matter what type of storm that you're in. All right, it says, I'm read that again. In the NLT, 1 Peter 2 and 2, like newborn babies, you must crave spiritual milk so that you will grow into a full experience of salvation cry out for this nutrition man right man and that's that's how a, a physical baby that's how it grows up and becomes strong okay bones are healthy all right and that's the same way with with this truth all right but if you're neglecting reading if you're if you're neglecting uh studying and doing the work Hey, eventually you're going to be uh you're not going to be you're not going to be full of nourishment all right and eventually what happens you you die okay and the scriptures uh speak about that in the book of proverbs i believe um let's get that yeah proverbs 21 and 16 and it reads the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding 
shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So those who who didn't uh, want to return back unto Yahweh by Shemal Shai are in a congregation of the dead. And so are those men who was in this truth and, and fell away. They returned back to that dead state. They returned back unto that vomit. All right, because this is this is how you are truly uh, um, able to live, man. Just because you walking around and you breathing and you walking and talking and eating, that don't mean that you are alive. Let's get a quick scripture. John 6 and verse 63 and it reads, it is the spirit that quickening, right? So it's the Holy Spirit, the Rakak Wadash, that makes you alive. All right, but those who go back into the world, the Lord has removed his Holy Spirit off of you. And now you're dead. Okay, and it says the flesh profiteth nothing. You know, and that's why we sow unto the spirit. Everybody else in this world is sowing unto the flesh. All right, but this flesh is equated to his death. Because when you're walking in the flesh, you're not pleasing the most high. And that's that constant battle. That battle we battle against the flesh and the spirit, man. The scripture says the, the, the spirit is willing. But the Lord is teaching us how to rule over this flesh. It says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And that's why you can't neglect not reading. Because the Lord speaks through uh, his word. All right, Yahweh Shai said, lo, I come through the volume of the book. You know, and, and uh, not only reading the scriptures also applying the scriptures you know me and the brothers you know in the chat you know brothers be sending articles okay where you know uh, last week you know uh, the brother Yawanathan the beloved brother Yawanathan I believe it was earlier this week he, he sent uh, a video of a man he it was a it was a, a husband and a, and a wife. They got into an altercation, and the man jumped in into the midst of that fight. And then the husband shot the shot the man, and the husband and the woman that was the husband and the wife that was arguing. They jumped in the car and, and left the scene, and that man was left dead. You know, and instantly the scriptures come to mind. All right, the scripture says, you know, uh, interfere not in judgment. Let me just get it. I know it's in the book of Syrac. real quick you know and this is just an example of why applying the scriptures is important in this walk this is Ecclesiasticus also known as the book of Syrac verse 11 and verse 10 and it reads my son meddle not with many matters for if thou meddle much thou shalt not be innocent and if and if thou follow after thou shalt not obtain neither shalt thou escape by fleeing let me start up a little bit let me uh ecclesiastes 11 and verse 9 I'll read that one it says strive not in a matter that concerneth thee not and sit not in judgment with sinners you know so the people in this world 
all right, a Christian or your average man in the world, that woman getting beat by a man concerned. So you don't have no business, you know, jumping into another altercation. All right, it says, and sit not in the midst, I mean, sit not in judgment with sinners. You know? So when a, when a man gets put to death because he's jumping into a fight that concerneth thee not, and he gets shot, hey, that's that's his fault, man. You know, because you don't, you don't got no business uh, jumping into an uh, altercation between a, a man and his woman. All right? That's completely going off, man. You know, so that's just an excuse. An example of why it's very important to apply the scriptures all right not only just read the scriptures but also to apply the scriptures okay so let me get back uh you know on topic so to say you know everything's through the spirit you know but i, I want to close out with this scripture you know wrapping things back up you know the point of this lesson is hey, a just man is gonna fall all right but it's about getting back up and continue continuing to fight so let me end up with uh second timothy 4 and verse 5 in the reads but if but if, but watch thou in all things endure inflictions you know so a part of afflictions is you know falling all right because you know when we fall you know that's a form of uh, affliction all right because you know our spirits is striving to be righteous our spirits want to do right. So when we go off, you know, it's 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 in our nature, you know, to get down, to get down in the spirit. You know, you, you feel like shit because you disappointed our power. Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. It says, you know, and that's why we need uh, free from these bodies, man. All right. A book of Jews said these are the chains of darkness. Continue on, it says, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, you know, and that's what we're striving to do. We're striving to finish our course, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, the Lord is not asking us to be perfect. All right, but we're striving for perfection. You know, ultimately we're gonna be perfect in the kingdom of heaven. We need when we change. You know, you can read about that in Hebrews eight and eight, Jeremiah thirty-one and thirty-one. Okay, and when that new covenant is fully uh, implemented, that's when we will be perfect. When the law, statutes, and commandments is written in our hearts, and it says, "I have finished." I have uh I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Verse 8. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but but unto all them also that love his appearing. You know, and we're looking to be crowned, man. So when we when we fall. We pray to Yahweh Bashem Shah in truth and sincerity. You know, to to, for, to ask for forgiveness. You know, and, and we get back up and we try to be better men. All right? Again, the scripture says, let not your sins weigh you down. All right? So we looking to get crowned by Yahweh Shah, man. But we got to continue to endure all the way until we're beamed up on the chariots lord willing we be at that number so that was just a you know exhortation that i wanted to bring out through the spirit i pray that the elect of the nation of israel the hopeful elect was edified i'm gonna give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham akakwadash double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone peace and blessings to the hopeful elect the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem al I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, the men, women, and children that Yahweh Bashem al Shai will show mercy on. The water Yahweh Bashem al Shai, the water Yahweh Bashem al Shai, for giving me the spirit of truth. The water Yahweh Bashem al Shai, 
for giving me the Holy Spirit, the Rakhak Wadash to make this lesson. Lord willing, until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and Ababa Ball. DTA, Kwame Asha'Allah. Shalom.